What is this? Another spills only video already? Well, you see, I feel like all the recent videos have been either pulling for characters or failing at the spiral abyss. And for the past two days, my internet service provider has been doing maintenance. So I literally have not been able to do anything on these accounts. Because of that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to max out Nouvellet. It's like the first time of me actually trying to say it in a video. But we are definitely going to be trying. So there are all these stupid gemstones that we need we are also going to need 17 of these blue blobs so sucrose give me two uh, close there's number 17 which means the last thing that we need is 19 more of this drop now that's gonna be a little hard to get in one day but as long as the game cooperates with us and gives us a little bit of luck we might be able to do it though first we have some breaking news Good evening and thank you for joining us once again. Tonight, we have another report for you regarding the world's most customizable web browser, Opera GX. If you navigate to the GX Mods menu, you'll be able to visit the GX Store where there are countless mods already set up for you to use with just one click. Once installed, these can change things such as background music, animated wallpapers, keyboard sounds, tab opening and closing sounds, and browser color themes. Of course, you can easily toggle any of these on or off at any point and you can even mix and match different mods together. If you want an animated wallpaper outside of GX mods, you can still visit the Opera add-ons page to browse through tons of different options that can fit any preference or mood. Now I'll toss it over to Meteorologist Java to update you all on the weather. Hey Java, I'm currently standing in the beginnings of what will become a massive hurricane, but that's not important right now. What is important is Opera GX's video pop-out feature. The video pop-out feature is a fantastic feature with an Opera GX that allows you to continue watching YouTube videos, anime, or anything you might be watching by popping it out with a simple click. Then you can drag that window anywhere you want and bring your multitasking skills to a whole new level. Now I need to go find shelter, so I'll send it back over to you, Java. Thanks, Java. In case you do want to take advantage of all this customization and swap over to Opera GX, they make it nice and easy for you. Using their quick import tool, you can quickly swap over all your browsing history, bookmarks, and cookies from your previous web browser. So use the link down in the description and start customizing your browser to your heart's content. This has been Java News. Thank Thank you for joining us and we hope you java nice day Of course, I really wanted to spend most of our resin today on artifacts, but I didn't realize how far away we were from getting all the boss drops we needed. Three, okay, good. Now we only need 16 more. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is ping-ponging between this domain and that boss. And the hope is that we're able to make Nuvalet kind of usable for us. Cause I mean, look at this right now, right? These are the artifacts we're currently using. They're not powered up and they suck, but I'm still able to use him to help me farm so imagine how strong he's gonna be when we actually get some good stuff on him like this artifact I mean, oh, well, you couldn't can, can just flip one of the crits with the attack and it would have been good to go. But that's fine because we have this. Never mind. I mean, to be fair, he kind of wants HP percent anyways, so that attack percent wouldn't be great on him. But also, why would I use a circlet that's not crit? This time for certain, we're going to get a good feather. We're going to get a good wrong set flower. Hmm. It could have been okay if it was the right set. But now, like I said, it is time to ping pong back to the boss. I don't really want to admit it, but I just had a moment where I was using Nivellet and I was like, oh, I don't remember what his charged attack looks like. Let, let me try that out. Oh yeah, literally his entire kit. I don't know why I just forgot that that was his charge attack and thought it was a different part. And three drops again, let's go. Oh, I mean, th this could be good for a swirl character. So on this account, basically sucrose. Although I feel like with sucrose, I would still just want to go triple EM. So I'm not even sure I would use that on her. I mean, if it rolls double crit, then I guess Hazo can use it. Come on, come on, something usable. Bestow upon me something usable. Like, not that, like, not that either. But these, oh, you don't even want to see these. You're going to be jealous. Like, look at, you know what? I, I probably could 
use that until we get something better at least unfortunately this is the last condensed resin i can use today because the rest has to go into the boss fight oh, i mean i could give it to to, to Riz, 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 however you want to say it but the sub stats are just terrible so uh, what can we... Oh, wait, I already had this. This is better than when I got to... Oh, it's the wrong set. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. So looking at all of our potential pieces, I do not like a single one of them. Come on. Come on. Crit rate. Crit rate. Crit... No. Why is it always defense? I politely request you to roll crit damage. Def it's always defense. Now, obviously for the goblet, I would prefer hydro damage on him, but I don't have hydro damage for this set. Energy recharge is okay. Obviously, I was hoping for crit rate. But if this piece can just be nice and roll crit damage or a little bit of ER, then I will be... Okay, okay, I'll, I'll be content enough for now. All right, I, I mean, I can't complain. It rolled into the two things that I asked for. Come on, crit damage, crit damage. Uh, where'd that go? Flat HP, not ideal, but he does scale off of HP copium. Okay, uh, guys, listen. All right, I, I, I know I have some five-star pieces, but I really need some more, like a little more crit rate on him. And none of these have crit rate, but... This one does. It is a four star piece, which I'm not the biggest fan of using, but it's gonna roll crit. Never mind, it's gonna roll flat HP. It's easy to level up, and we can. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. <clears throat> we, we can use it as food later. Okay, maybe I'll stop leveling it up there. Here's what I'm thinking this feather is good for him, but it isn't the right set. And I, I don't have any circlets that are good for him on the right set. So what if I use a feather that's maybe not as good, like this one, for example, and we hope it goes HP and not defense percent. What I was going to say is HP and crit damage. More HP. Okay. Not a huge fan of this. Oh, no. That's fine. I can use another artifact and we get more HP. So it definitely takes away a lot of his crit value, but we can put that on, then go to the circlet and put on something like this. And then if we max that out, we do get crit damage, which is very nice to see. And that should overall be better. Oh, wait, I didn't level this up. At oh, I mean, it kind of sucks, but I still want to level it. Oh, and we got the double. Let's go crit rate. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. That's almost the best that that piece could have rolled. So everything except for this is maxed i kind of i kind of want to max that big money big didn't really need the er but that's fine so every artifact is level 20 this set gives him an additional 36 percent crit rate when he's using his charged attack so that means we go up to 86 percent crit rate and 138 crit damage now considering how copium some of those artifacts are that's not that bad yeah look at that now i want his crit damage to be higher but it's the best i could do right now triple drop triple drop come on come on triple three three Oh, we're getting a little lucky here. <laughs> yeah, we just need 10 more somehow. Oh, and we get more crit damage when we ascend him. Wait, I want to try something here. Usually these are a pain with catalyst characters, but <laughs> using, uh, using this boy right here. Uh-huh. Wow, that becomes a little easier. Can we see three drops again, though? That's a real question. Oh my gosh. So now we just need seven more with not enough resin to farm it. Also, in the last video, it looks like I did forget to actually refine the new catalyst that we got from the event. And now with max refinement, the stats are looking a bit more appealing. Probably should also level it because during the event, you get a 1.5 multiplier on leveling it. So we will dump some resources into this book. Can I craft 10 of these? I'm sure I can craft 10 of them. And even if I can't, those are not that hard to farm we get oh yeah i can craft 40 of them now the main reason i'm doing this is i know i would lose a lot of hp taking prototype amber off of nuvalet but uh this weapon also seems like it could be pretty nice for him and we are able to level it to the same level that his prototype amber is currently sitting at Ooh, wait a second look at this i craft some of that we craft some of this and then we craft i think i only need four of this oh wow okay mona then i just need eight 
15 fossilized bone shards. I, I think I've asked this before. Does anyone actually memorize the names of all of these materials? Because what I do is I just go in here. I'm like, okay, I need the purple version of the golden bone. And I go on here and I look for the purple version of the golden bone, which I don't have. I only have blue, but we can max this out and see what we can craft. And unfortunately, it is not enough, but like I said, we can go farm some. Let's commence a little bit of a damage test here. I'm just curious, if I use E and then we use this, what is it hitting for? 9.1 thousand? Obviously, it changed throughout the duration of that, but the biggest number we saw was 9.1 thousand. So if I swap this over to this weapon and then we do the same thing again, we see 9.3 thousand. I think overall, all the average damage of this weapon is a little bit higher. Wait, now why did it just hit for even higher? Okay, maybe if we do some normal attacks first. I oh, know I did something and I saw it hitting for over 10k. Maybe, no, I, I really don't know. I'm still unsure of what I did to hit 10k with some of the charged attack procs because I am not able to do it again. As far as I'm aware, we have the weapon, which does more damage with the charged attacks. If we hit them with charged attacks up to three stacks, then we have the artifact set that procs whether our HP increases or decreases. Oh. Uh, Oh, I know what it is. I know what it was. It's because right before I hit that 10k, I was fighting a different enemy and I used other characters on the team, which then gave him the boost for 30 seconds that I didn't even know about. If I do that and that, and then this, we should be seeing uh, uh, the same damage. <clears throat> okay, it is time to figure this out. With no other party member involved against this guy, which uh, apparently my skill didn't work there, but we are hitting 8.2 Okay, if we then come back, we let him fully stand up, you know, we apply him with some hydro and then electro charge, swap back and do the same thing. We're hitting 10.2k and now 11.6k. And that was after I used Nahida as well to proc some more reactions. Interesting. But after that educational farming expedition, we have enough of the drops that we needed to max out this weapon. And I really just wanted to do this now because of that multiplier for XP. Helps me save on some resources, which is always nice. So now it is just a matter of the seahorse. So here's a question. Do you think if I do the new event that's out right now, I would get any fragile resin? I mean, I have to try because there's no other way for me to get enough resin right now because I don't really want to use Primo gems for it. These electro slimes in Venti's trial are so annoying. I know that was completely random, but I just felt like saying it. It doesn't show any fragile resin here, but I'm hopeful that they'll give it to us anyways. I know that the teapot does allow you to buy like the transient resin, I think, but we don't actually have the teapot on this account. Wait, three teams? Uh-oh. Oh, the same character can be deployed in different parties. What is this load thing then? Oh, maybe I don't care. That's a little too much text for me. Uh, pyro damage. Don't <laughs> don't need that. Charge the tech damage. Yes, please. We'll do this. Th I think this is good. I am always a fan of combat events. You go in, you fight random enemies, you get rewarded. Start. Char oh, gosh. Okay. Was not expecting a quick time event. Go. Go, my new valet. Destroy them all. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, button. There we go. Destroy them all. He's starting to feel more powerful. Quick time. Ah, uh, boop. Bing. Bam. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, the damage that he can do. And this is only the beginning, because obviously everything on him can be improved. Round two, except you wouldn't know because the teams are exactly the same. <laughs> Look at this. This is so dumb. <laughs> it just does so much damage. I gotta say, I kind of like this event because you just get to do big damage and we got gold. So I'll take it. Obviously, uh, time gate is a little bit of an issue here. Ooh, ooh, whose Nahida is better? Mine or the trial? Tri you can't see stats and their talent levels are one. I will be sticking with my Nahida. Thank you very much. This event knew what they were doing. I was having too much fun with a Hydro character, so they said, here, have a ton of Hydro enemies to fight. I mean, we have Nahida, so it's completely fine, except for the fact that I really wanted to be using Yervalet. <laughs> and he's back. Unfortunately, I do have a bad feeling we are not going to be getting any Fragile Resin from this event. No, we are not. Wait a second. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 
Oh, where did I just see it? Not there. Okay, hold on. In here. If I can get to level 25 somehow, then I'll be able to get a fragile resin. So it looks like I will be visiting the abyss once again. Uh, excuse me? Can someone tell me why my Yaimiko is on a crit rate? I thought she actually had a decent build. Why am I only at 486 EM? Why is my Lisa with a missing artifact at a higher EM? Okay, look. I just just don't expect much and then we can't be disappointed I, I mean i know how bad this is gonna go but maybe you guys don't we'll beat floor nine um maybe we'll beat floor 10 i'll give it a shot but there are zero promises although to be fair this is going a little better than i thought it would and yes it is only floor nine i'm aware but last time i attempted floor nine i was kind of surprised with how slow it was not the fastest but we're still making progress i do honestly wonder whether swords or spells only is going to be able to 36 star the spiral abyss first i mean i want to say it'll be swords only but i honestly don't know i suppose it's kind of going to come down to which account gets better luck with artifacts oh right floor 11 is where you get this stupid monolith at least i don't think the slimes are in here anymore so it's a little bit easier Ooh, actually we did that really well for the first half and this is where it'll all fall apart oh wait no this one's easy no time limit only two enemies and you can easily get them away from the monolith and they won't go after it this is a free three star okay i take it back the monolith is still at 94 percent easy this is gonna be a little close i think although I, in one minute we should be able to take this thing out you know i said that really confidently and now now, um, I'm not feeling too confident anymore. Come on, come on. There we go. Even if we don't get a single star on this chamber, I am very proud of what this account just did. Because I tried Spiral Abyss on here not very long ago at all, and I barely got through floor 10. And now look at us. Uh, I think this one doesn't move, so we'll focus on you. Oh, I really need my shield. I really, I really need my shield. I, it's not going well. Wow, they broke my shield instantly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so back when I said even if we got no stars, I would still be happy. I was kind of like, like I, I would, but I want to at least get a star. The first half is so easy for us. And then this happens. So we got to try and stay away from them, but also close enough where Klee can hit them. That doesn't seem difficult at all. Oh, it's, it's already not going well okay okay stop please 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 they shred my shield instantly oh my gosh yeah okay no i i don't think that'll be happening if i had a dedicated healer on the second half like barbara at least then maybe but also she can't do any damage so it's like i don't know if that would really help i guess instead of mona maybe we are closer to getting our fragile resin though so let's see what else we're able to do okay so i just took a little break to go eat something and I, I realized I didn't actually claim my primo gems from doing the spiral abyss. Although what's always annoying is I can't claim them unless I give up on the floor I was on. So I guess I'll be abandoning that challenge. Now they don't tell you here but I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that these two are immune to freeze so even bringing in our cryo catalyst wouldn't help I don't think. Perhaps bringing Barbara instead of Mona would be good for us but I don't think that we need to stress ourselves out trying to complete that but can we all just agree that the new bounty system is so much better than this like all you gotta do now is show up defeat an enemy and you're done all right well in 14 minutes i will have the bacon to give this guy so that i can complete the bounties and reputation so you know what i will see you in 14 minutes <laughs> So it's been a little more than 14 minutes, but that's fine because our bacon is done and we have almost 80 resin. How close does this bring us to 25? Pretty close. In fact, all I should have to do is come in here, auto cook up 20 of these, and then fragile resin. Okay, very nice. Back to the seahorse once again. We hope for three drops again uh no two of the i don't think i've ever seen it give multiple of any of this okay then yeah i'm not too mad we need five more drops so if we get a three and a two then we're good to go if we get two twos we're not as 
good to go. That is indeed how basic math works. Game, if you give me three drops right here, then we are 100% going to be able to max ascend him here. Okay, yes, perfect. And here it is. The last time that I have to farm that boss for a while. You see, it took a little while, but I did max ascend a brand new character. And I know for most people that wouldn't be something impressive, but for these accounts of mine, swords and spells, that's a big deal. So I just want to see what can he do all by himself. Obviously, he would do more damage with other people generating reactions, but we're not interested in that. We just want to see his solo potential. You know, we just break this thing. We go for this. We do this. And I mean, yeah, it works. It might not be the quickest thing in the world, but he could just take it out by himself. Then if we combine him with the rest of a team, it's kind of just GG for the enemies. Oh, it's so fun. I know you don't even need to keep him on a hyper bloom team i'm just doing it because you know more damage or i should say more damage with not that much investment now something like this probably could be an okay team for him and we could just rock up we use that ideally put up her shield throw down this thing use this and then you kind of just melt stuff with the laser beam i mean sucrose could work on this team as well basically there are a lot of options but those options need to be built up so that they work well on those specific teams actually I have a weird idea for a team. Obviously, I'm going to need a little bit of time to farm the pieces for it, but I think I'm going to try to get these four working together. It's definitely going to take me a little bit, but I think it might potentially work. With that being said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy. I actually managed to build a character i mean i'm still going to keep farming that domain anyway so i'll probably get improvements and just to make it look a little bit better i'm going to mess with my hp stat a little there we go okay we go in here look at that so he works we could just put it like that he now functions on this account i'm happy with that progress hopefully you guys are too and i will see all of you next time